The Micronesia Challenge is a shared commitment to conserve at least 30% of the nearshore marine resources and 20% of the terrestrial resources across Micronesia by the year 2020. Now, that sounds like a daunting task, and it certainly is, but equally important in the work here, to the work here, is identifying in young people the kind of energy and heart that will sustain the challenge for years to come. So come on, let's go into the islands and meet some of these great young people. It's a cloudy afternoon when I arrive in Majuro in the Marshall Islands. I am here to meet a young man named Broderick, who has chosen to dedicate a year of his life to raise awareness of the effects of climate change in this, his island home. Um, uh, my name is Broderick Menke and I am 19 years old. I, I am from Majuro and Ligiep. I was born around Ligiep and I was raised in California. I came back um, about a year ago, last summer. I was gone for like four years. And then... So have you noticed a difference in the sea level rising? Yes, I've noticed a lot of difference. Uh, when you travel around the island, it's not like before when like everything was just out, like expanded, you know? Mm -hmm. But now it's just like, it's all narrow. Can you take us to a place that you remember when, as a kid, had more shoreline? Yes, I can. Roderick is 19 years old. In his young life, he can recall sand on this beach. There is very little of it left. So it's low tide now. That's low tide right now. Tide comes in, it'll go practically near the road because there's a car. Yeah. Right. So it'll go all the way up here. Wow. Especially around there, when you drive around high tide, the tide just pushes in and then you can see like salt water coming in and then it gets to your car and stuff. And it ruins your car, right? He takes me to what used to be a playground and points out the submerged foundations of what used to be a seawall and protective fence. Trees have bare roots here. There is no sandy soil to hold or nurture them. The disappearing shoreline notwithstanding, the Republic of the Marshall Islands is not without significant agencies dedicated to conservation. But that's not enough. It never is. As much work as there is on the ground, conservation in Micronesia has become a technological task. One of the real challenges that conservation space is trying to actually get reliable internet. So we are actually at a place called, where are we, Broderick? We are at Marshall Islands Marine Resources Authority. This is the second place we've come to to try to get internet service, uh, but it's not on. So we're going to try to, we're actually going to go walk the road. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a drag, you know, you have, to go, you have to go to certain areas to just get internet access. Yeah, I think a lot of people take for granted that, you know, or a Majuro. Some services just aren't available. For example, like a cab. <laughs> but being Majuro, family is never too far. Broderick's mother just happened to drive by. 
You're gonna be on camera, is that okay? Oh. <laughs> There's little sand. The beaches are all gone. Before it was like, lot, there were lot, lots of sand everywhere. Mm -hmm. But now you, you don't see any sand. All of a sudden, one yeah. day, you're like, wow, it's They're all gone. gone. The water level keeps rising. Yeah, it just keeps rising. So do you worry about it? Do you worry, like, gosh, what's gonna happen to... Yeah, we worry. Me, family, all worry, but I don't know. Just wait and <laughs> see what will happen. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe Puck will, Puck will help us figure out <laughs> what will happen to us. Yeah, it's, it's up to you, Broad. <laughs> you have to figure it out. The chap. <laughs> Coming up, I go to Yap and Chook. The story continues at www.micronesiachallenge.org, where you can learn more about the people you just met, as well as the efforts of preserving the thousands of species of fish, plants, and wildlife in Micronesia. There are downloadable teaching modules for schools, as well as an online video storytelling academy by Dan Ho. And of course, we look forward to your support of the Micronesia Challenge. Thank you. Thank you.